it's another week that's gone by and this is our time to commit to praying for our governments, praying for our local councils, praying for our cities. And so this week, South Africans really need to pray concerning the Jacob Zuma trial in the Peter Maritzburg High Court on the 10th of August. And the first thing we need to pray against is anarchy. There's forces of darkness that are arrayed against the city of Peter Maritzburg. And so you as a believer in that city, I would encourage you to go and walk the precinct of that court. I would encourage you to walk through the streets of Peter Maritzburg, praying over the streets and sealing your particular street where you live in. We need to start to learn to be active in the spirit and sealing our cities, sealing these strategic places from forces of darkness. So you can even take communion and put communion on the streets, sealing the streets with oil. And as we do that, we build an altar and we invoke the presence of God over the city, particularly Peter Maritzburg for the 10th of August and continuing into the week. And then secondly, we want to pray for Johannesburg for the election of the new mayor of Johannesburg. Joburg is a strategic city worldwide in terms of the economic hub of not only South Africa, but Africa, and it affects the world and nations of the world. And so we want strategic alignments. We want to see God move and we want to set aside in the realm of the spirit the mayor that he has chosen for our city. We want to pray against every um, unholy alliance, uh, alliances which are being formed, which are totally anti-Christ alliances. And so, Lord, we thank you today as we pray and we set this mayor aside in the realm of the Spirit today that you will come and you will take control. Lord, we thank you for the one of your choosing and we stand in the gap, Lord, for our city and for um, our team, for this region of South Africa, Lord, for all those that are standing with us, other nations, Lord. Father, we thank you that we can bring this mayor before you and we decree in the seat of the Joburg City Council that the mayor that you have chosen, Almighty God, will be chosen. And then lastly, we want to pray for South Africa's alignment with Israel. Amen. That we would continue to press in. And we thank you, Almighty God, for that alignment. We ask you, Lord, for a turnabout, for a change, Lord, for strategic, Lord, intervention in connection with this alignment, for a restoration. And we thank you, Lord, that even as um, Israel has given so much to us as the believers, and your word says, Lord, if we bless Israel, we will be blessed. And so therefore, Lord, we petition you and we stand in the gap, Lord, for the effect and for we are intentional, almighty God, concerning this. And we will continue to press in, press in, press in. And then fourthly, we stand in the gap today against every future uprising in this nation. Amen. We stand in the gap again that the Lord would come and that he would scatter the plans of the enemy. And so, Lord, we stand for this today. We petition you. We ask you for angelic forces. Every drop of blood that has been shed, Lord, we pray for forgiveness. And we ask you, Almighty God, that you would cover this blood with your blood that has been shed. Father, we lift up an altar in the spirit, Lord. Every unholy covenant of violence over this nation, we ask that you would come and destroy it even now. And we speak peace to South Africa. And we say peace on our borders. No longer will violence be found in our streets. We plead the blood over our nation today. Every um, part of this nation, every province of this nation and we turn back the violence at the gates in Jesus mighty name 
by your blood and by your sacrifice. God bless you, South Africa. Thank you for all the nations of the world that are joining in with these prayers, standing with us. We're in a pivotal time and season in this nation. And we know that South Africa is going forward no matter what. God bless you.